bottom there. Uh, that's going to be his Smeargle, Crobat, Salamence, Xerneas, Raichu, and Groudon. Up against James, who's running Kangaskhan, Bronzong, Salamence, Thunduras, uh, Groudon, and Kyogre. Uh, so interestingly enough, uh, Alec did opt to go for the Salamence instead of the Kangaskhan. Uh, so no fake out pressure coming from his Mega, but possibly from that Raichu. Right, so since he does have the Raichu, he can afford to leave Kangaskhan off the team. He doesn't need that mm -hmm. fake out pressure. And uh, Raichu is certainly more of a counter pick, whereas Kangaskhan is more consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, but in those matchups where Raichu is uh, favored, it just does so much damage to Pokemon like Kyogre, which James mm -hmm. is going to have to watch out for because he has a Kyogre of his own. Yeah, really interesting tech to see the Raichu out here for, for Xerneas Groudon uh, to possibly get rid of that Kyogre on the field and protect both his Pokemon. But James will be using his Salamence and Groudon as leads up against uh, the Smeargle and Salamence uh, from, uh, from Alex's side. Yeah, and we'll see... Uh that Smeargle lead really threatening because if it uh, is faster than Groudon, which uh, probably unlikely considering mm -hmm. there's no threat of Trick Room, um, I'd say Smeargle is probably a slower version. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of players have turned to that rather than just kind of a really fast Focus Sash Smeargle. Make it really slow to not only uh, be effective in your own Trick Room, but even take advantage when opponents set up Trick Room. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, uh, this Salamence does threaten a Draco Meteor on each other, so. Yeah. If they do have it, it's not too common, but if they have it, it really turns his mirror match up uh, on its head. Yeah, any kind of dragon type attack from one of these Salamence could be devastating to the opponent. As we begin our ritual of VGC 2016, <laughs> a double mega evolution on the field. And Draco Meteor does come out from Alec Rubin's Salamence. Turn one, revealing that tech. Going to pick up the snipe onto James's Salamence. Easy one hit KO there. Of course, dropping a special attack, but Alec is happy to take down uh, the opposing Mega Salamence. So James down to an early deficit. Fire Punch from Groudon immediately onto Smeargle. James very concerned about Smeargle getting off these Dark Voids. Is going to be able to connect to Groudon there. Really excellent first turn for Alec there. Yeah, this, that was a perfect turn for Alec, but yeah. the since this is a best of three, James gets a lot of good information here. Seeing how much damage that Fire Punch did to Smeargle, that really didn't do a whole lot. So you can imagine that the Smeargle is a very bulky version. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's good knowledge uh, going into the later games. No and booty then, boost either. Right, and then of course that Salamence having Draco Meteor. Now, rather than thinking his own Salamence is safe, mm -hmm. uh, since a lot of Salamences go for like a double edge, a hyper voice, a tailwind, a protect kind of moveset, knowing that that Draco Meteor is a threat, he now has to play much more conservatively with his own Salamence. Yeah, definitely important information for James to know in a game two and potentially a game three setup. He opts to bring in the Bronzong, uh, which should be pretty safe. Uh, Smeargle not able to deal much damage, may be able to put it to sleep unless it's carrying a Chesto or a Lumberry. Uh, and of course, Salamence with that minus two special attack, uh, not likely to be able to deal that much damage to Bronzong in the first place, but unless it's going to be using uh, physical attacks like this Double Edge, which has already been intimidated once, not going to be dealing a whole lot of damage, only about you know a fifth of uh, Groudon's HP falling out there. Groudon does take a nap, takes its first turn of sleep here. Smeargle will connect with the Dark Void again, so we'll have to see if that Bronzong is actually carrying that Lum or that Chesto Berry to wake it right back up. Bronzong falls asleep and yes, is carrying the Lumberry. Going to be able to wake right back up and probably set up the Trick Room. Yep, Bronzong sets up the Trick Room. Uh, really good for James there. Uh, you have to imagine if that Trick Room Bronzong out on the field, you really want that up as soon as possible. Yep, the only problem is since uh, James did see that Smeargle is likely a very bulky uh, version, it mm. could also be a very slow version. A lot of players do like to train their Smeargle intentionally to be slow, mm -hmm. uh, to take advantage of Trick Room. Uh, but also from Alex's point of view, it might not seem like that double edge really did a whole lot. So maybe you're thinking, what's the point of keeping Salamence in just to do that little damage to Groudon? Uh, but Alex, Alex doesn't really have many ways to deal with Groudon, so getting that little chip damage is good. Yeah, James going for a risky hypnosis out of gravity is going to be able to connect, though, with Smeargle. So Smeargle uh, taking a, a little bit of its own medicine there, falls asleep, going to be able, have to pass the turn there, and Hyper Voice coming out from this uh, Salamence, dealing negligible damage to Bronzong but actually basically the same amount of damage <laughs> to the Groudon. <laughs> right, they both resist it, and Salamence has already lowered its special attack with Draco Meteor. Uh, at this point, maybe keeping Salamence in, not as good now since Trick Room's mm -hmm. up and its stats are both lowered. Um, might as well save it for later back when Trick Room expires. He may uh, just be hoping to get a free switch in if mm -hmm. Salamence gets knocked out here. Right. But uh, instead, he switches out Smeargle for his own Primal Groudon, now out on the field. Uh, Kind of risky if you're going up against uh, 
Bronzong here and an enemy Groudon. That Groudon may have to take a, a Precipice Blades if Groudon wakes up. Salamence, though, is choosing to protect itself. Bronzong will use Gravity, so Gravity now affecting the field. Salamence no longer immune to Ground-type attacks. Uh, neither is Bronzong, of course, uh, with its Levitate ability, but Groudon's still sleeping, so James is Groudon still asleep, so Alex actually gets that Groudon in for free, that, and now the Gravity is working against James. That was such a risky switch. Uh, you had to see that Gravity coming, mm -hmm. uh, because since uh, Gyro Ball is likely not going to do much to Smeargle since it's so slow, mm -hmm. uh, might as well get that Gravity up now, and Groudon could have woken up that turn. Yeah. Well, Smeargle is back on the field, Salamence switching out. Uh, Alec will be protecting his Groudon, trying to stall as many of these Trick Room uh, turns out. Hypnosis into the Protect. Swords Dance from James Beck's Groudon. If you thought Groudon was scary before, now it is way more scary. And because now Groudon can't protect from that. Exactly. Now it threatens a one-hit KO on Groudon, where normally a Precipice Blades will be a two-hit KO, but now it's a one-hit KO. And that was such a good Swords Dance mm -hmm. because Salamence, we saw how little damage it was doing. I was saying maybe switch it out uh, a turn or two earlier. Yeah. Um, that's now, now, now you see Alec why do? now it bites him because he spends a turn here switching out while Groudon gets a free Swords Dance. Yeah, Alec has to switch out his Groudon. He's trying to protect his Groudon, but switches in Xerneas, which is now going to have to tank a Swords Dance boosted uh, uh, Precipice Blades from Groudon and eats a Hypnosis and on the switch in as well. Alec is just getting... Uh, crushed by James this turn. Smeargle does wake up though, gets the Dark Void off, so will actually be able to put that Bronze on to sleep. Uh, so Smeargle a little bit uh, less sleepy than the Groudon is, but possibly Groudon waking up this turn. Oh, Groudon S falls asleep again, fast asleep, yeah, no we, chance. Yeah, we see how this slower Smeargle is really devastating because it just totally turned the tide of that battle. Uh, mm -hmm. That Xerneas would have taken a Sword Stance, Groudon's press of his blades there, likely that turn, and mm -hmm. that would have done so much damage. And even though it didn't turn out perfectly for James, you can see it, just how that battle has turned from that opening turn that Alex got a great advantage on. Just Bronzong and Groudon by themselves, how much mm -hmm. damage they can put out and with gravity and hypnosis for support. Yeah, and with that Dark Void and that early wake up by Smeargle, uh, able to start taking control of this game back on Alex's side, uh, stalling out the, the Trick Room. Unfortunately, the Wide Guard also protecting Groudon from the Precipice Blades as James does finally wake up, uh, his Groudon at least. Bronzong's still asleep though. So that one turn that Smeargle could have taken, could have kept sleeping, but woke up, uh, really swung this match around. It really did, because that's what allowed it to get the Dark Void off. And now Bronzong, uh, it's being threatened by Groudon, mm -hmm. uh, and it's asleep. Trick uh, Room's about to end. There's not a whole lot that uh, James can do here, because now his Groudon is threatened by uh, Alex Groudon, which will be both faster, and it can knock it out from this uh, HP range. Yep, well, not James to mention the Smeargle support, like we see here. Yeah, that Wide Guard's just going to shut down this Sword Stance boosted Groudon. Uh, Earth Power, though, coming out from Alex Groudon, so running a special variant of Groudon, dealing a lot of damage to that Bronzong, still asleep. Oh, uh, James really wanted to get that, uh, get Bronzong to wake back up there. He really, really did, because Bronzong needs to wake up to be able to do anything, uh, mm -hmm. and he's gonna need that support from Bronzong to get Groudon slower in Trick Room, uh, to be able to knock out Alex uh, Groudon, but at the same time, even with Trick Room up, Smeargle, uh, we saw it under speeds mm. in Trick Room, so it can get the Dark Void off before Groudon attacks, yeah. or even Wide Guard. And then we already know uh, Alex Groudon is faster than James's Groudon, mm -hmm. so James is in a really tough spot here. Yeah, and James not really having that many opportunities or options to switch as well, thanks to the, the surprise KO right, from that exactly. Salamence. exactly. Since the Salamence got knocked out so early, it would be a perfect chance to switch it in here. It resists mm -hmm. Groudon's fire and ground moves. Um, Unfortunate. And it's fast, so it would have been great to have it now. Yep, well, it looks like Kyogre is the final Pokemon in the back as Alex, pick, Alex picks up a KO onto the Bronzong with Eruption from his Groudon. Uh, so Kyogre now out on the field, but Alex still has enough Pokemon to be able to switch that Groudon out and uh, reset the, the weather. Uh, so Kyogre is going to be a, a, you know one of the biggest, most intimidating sitting ducks uh, in just a little bit, but a sitting duck nonetheless. Yeah, this is really tricky for James. Uh, having Kyogre out here is really good because it threatens the Groudon, so mm -hmm. this could be turned around just based off predictions alone. Uh, if somehow, uh, yeah, the double protect was really the only thing he could have gone for. Yeah. Uh, but then Smeargle has wide guard, so Kyogre would need something like a otherwise, even then, Alec would have won. Yep, well, Earth Power coming back out again from Alex. Uh, 
Groudon onto James's Groudon. Groudon will go down thanks to the uh, Earth Power. So it looks like the special variant is more superior than the Swords Dance physical dam uh, physicals variant of Groudon so far. Of course, that Origin Pulse into the Wide Guard. Uh, looks like James will go ahead and forfeit game one once move on to game two as quickly as possible. Yeah, but they, they got a lot of information about mm -hmm. each other, especially James. I think having that Draco Meteor knowledge will be very important, and even mm -hmm. that Smeargle knowledge, uh, because we see uh, James has a Thunderous mode for his team, so he doesn't have to go with the Trick Room mode, Yeah. Uh, if, especially after seeing that slow Smeargle. I think the Trick Room mode isn't the way to go anymore. Mm -hmm. I think bringing Thunderous is going to be key to not only counter the Smeargle, but uh, counter any Tailwinds that Alec might go for and yeah. get some speed control that way, which... Uh, Alec really doesn't have a way to deal with because uh, mm -hmm. we saw this game. Well, we did see the Trick Room from Bronzong and Groudon. They did put in a lot of work, but at the same time, Smeargle with not only Wide Guard, but Dark Void too. Mm -hmm. I think you have to go with Thunderous if you're James. Yeah, definitely. And it was really interesting because Alec was in a, was in a really terrible position there, but he got that one wake up, was able to turn it all around based on that. Uh, mm -hmm. And that was even after showing some of his tricks, the, the Draco Meteor on Salamence, the slow Smeargle. Yep. So that's a lot of information that James has to potentially run this back. Right, but the only thing he has to worry uh, about bringing Thunderous is that threat of Raichu, because mm -hmm. Raichu does have Lightning Rod, so if he does try and spread some Paralysis, uh, that could be negated by Raichu. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, Raichu very frail, so uh, if James does have Groudon at the same time, let's say, he might be able to knock out that Raichu pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see. All right, and we are back in battle game two. Alec now switching things up, going for a Crobat Xerneas lead. Uh, will be up against uh, James's Salamence Groudon. So James keeping his uh, leads the same, Groudon and Salamence out on the field now. Doesn't want to change things up too much now that he, you know, isn't going to be surprised by a Draco Meteor. Instead, surprised by Xerneas and Crobat. Uh, Xerneas is pretty much the hard counter to Salamence there. It is, uh, but Groudon does do very well against opposing Xerneas. Uh, however, Crobat with the Super Fang uh, mm -hmm. can take out half of Groudon's HP, which I think is probably a likely move, though. Maybe Tailwind, because I think Alec will expect James not to just attack with both Pokemon. Maybe he'll go for, say, a Protect on Xerneas and then mm -hmm. a Tailwind on Crobat, um, just to try and get that speed advantage, since right now Xerneas is slower than Salamence. Uh, mm -hmm. And Double Edge would still do a lot of damage to it. It would most likely put it in knockout range from maybe a Groudon Fire Punch. Um. Yeah, so Crobat is going to go ahead and Tailwind. No Protect coming out from Alex. Uh, Alex is Xerneas, but Salamence also going for the Tailwind of his own. So James' Salamence does have some tricks up its sleeve as well. Xerneas will go ahead and use that Geomancy now, boosting its special attack, special defense, and speed. And we'll have to see if Groudon alone can deal the damage to make sure that this Xerneas is no longer a threat on the field. Uh, but of course, with that Tailwind and the Geomancy boost, that is a fast deer uh, on the field now. It really is, and since both players use Tailwind, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much neutralized because now they're both the same level of speed mm -hmm. thanks to Tailwind. So this Xerneas is going to be really fast because of that Geomancy. Mm -hmm. um, and we did see Fire Punch do just about half. Yeah, so that, is, that could be super that, close. That is, because I assume Crobat will go for a Super Fang on Groudon. Um, and then if Xerneas is trained slower, uh, so that after a Geomancy it can be slower than Crobat, probably unlikely. Mm -hmm. uh, or we can see this, a Protect, and then go for the Super Fang on Groudon. Yeah, so Xerneas and Groudon both protecting. James wants to protect his Groudon from getting Super Fanged by that Crobat. Uh, Crobat does opt for the Super Fang into the Protect, so uh, good call there from James to protect his Groudon, make sure that Xerneas won't be able to knock it out uh, this uh, uh, upcoming turn. But now Bronzong out of the field. he's got Bronzong in, so yeah. this Xerneas, even though it's got its Geomancy up, it's at half health, it's got a terrible matchup right here. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll probably go down this turn, and it won't deal too much damage. Yeah, Alec just trying to get as much damage out as possible, gets the uh, Dazzling Gleam, deals a little bit of damage, taunt onto the Bronzong. Already saw that Lumberry, so not afraid of a Mental Herb at all. Fire Punch into the Xerneas. Is this a roll? Does pick up the KO. So a two-hit KO from Fire Punch uh, from James's Groudon. Big knowledge for James to have. A really clutch two-hit KO to pick up there. And Gyro Ball from the Bronzong uh, dealing just under half to that Crobat. Right, so that was a good turn for James. Uh, he did get that favorable matchup there against the Xerneas. Uh, that's certainly key for dealing with Xerneas. Didn't having, fall for having, the taunt. Right, that too. Having, but having two Pokemon that resist uh, the Dazzling Gleam, because even if you have one Pokemon that resists it, Xerneas can likely one-hit KO that other Pokemon with, say, a Moonblast. So the fact that he had both Pokemon to resist mm -hmm. Xerneas really helped him there. Yeah, really neutralized the, the, the danger of that Xerneas, especially after it got the Geomancy boost. Right, but now that he's taunted, he can't get Trick Room up. 
Yep, no Trick Room coming out. Crobat will be able to connect with the Super Fang here, dealing half of Groudon's remaining hit points. Hyper Voice coming out from the now Mega Salamence onto Groudon does pick up the KO. So Bronzong's still sticking around, but Groudon will go down as well. A trade of restricted Pokemon uh, for James and Alec. Uh, another gyro ball coming out from the Bronzong, this time connecting with the Salamence, dealing a very little bit of damage. That Intimidate doing work for uh, for Alex's uh, side of the team. It really is. Uh, Bronzong not known to do a whole lot of damage, uh, and now that it's taunted, uh, mm -hmm. it's not really in a great spot. Even though it's against two really fast Pokemon, that Intimidate really showing why it's so powerful, like yeah. we kind of previewed earlier. All right, Kyogre now out on the field. James showing his second uh, restricted Pokemon now. Uh, Alec, if he brought that Groudon in the back, really needs to focus on getting this Kyogre off the field. Yeah, but on the bright side, like we've been saying, Bronzong can't set up Trick Room. Kyogre mm -hmm. uh, is threatened by a Super Fang Double Edge, I think. That might mm -hmm. be enough to pick up a knockout. Uh, so it does have to watch out, uh, but at the same time, he does have the potential to switch if he's feeling like he wants to pull off a prediction. Uh, Maybe switch, Ky maybe first protect with the Kyogre and then switch it out. Oh, well, it looks like Alec is actually going to be the one who's switching. Switches out his Crobat for Groudon immediately. Uh, wants to get that sun up as fast as possible uh, so that Kyogre can't threaten any of his Pokemon with water type attacks. But Salamence still out on the field. No threat of Super Fang anymore. Possibly uh, an Ice Beam. If James made that prediction coming through on that Salamence, could be able to pick up the KO there for himself. Uh, Bronzong, though, will also retreat. Uh, will switch in the back for the Salamence of his own. Uh, so we'll have to see what Salamence and Kyogre chose to do this turn. Salamence now gets the Intimidate off onto Groudon, which could be pretty big, and onto the Salamence for a, a potential double edge coming in. Salamence is going to protect this turn, so just trying to get that Groudon in on Alex's side. And uh, we'll have to see what this Kyogre tried to go for. Did go for an Ice Beam into the Salamence, but uh, good protect there from Alec. I really like that turn from James. Uh, I was suggesting switching out Kyogre, but since he has Salamence in the back, switching Bronzong out for Salamence to get that Intimidate off. Mm -hmm. uh, so even if Alec did go for a Super Fang and Double Edge from Salamence, uh, yeah. his own Salamence's Intimidate would allow his Kyogre to survive that turn uh, and fire off an Ice Beam. So that was definitely a good uh, play. And I'm sure he was also expecting this Groudon to come in. So being able to get Salamence out against that is really good. But again, he's got Salamence v. Salamence, and he knows the other Salamence has Draco Meteor, and his mm -hmm. doesn't, so... Still and his Salamence is already Mega Evolved, so it already has the speed boost. Right, so it's a pretty tricky situation. Draco Meteor does come out. Alec will connect with Draco Meteor again onto James' Salamence. So James, not even Mega Evolving, no chance there. Salamence will go down uh, to that Draco Meteor, a critical hit, just gravy on top of that one. <laughs> uh, so now Kyogre is just going to have to figure out a way to to defeat this Salamence and Groudon. It is a special Groudon going for the eruption onto Kyogre. Full health eruption. Uh, it deals a little bit of damage. Yeah, it's seen. also a single target. Single target uh, <laughs> in the sun. Uh, but Ice Beam will be able to pick up the KO onto the enemy Salamence. So now we have Crobat Groudon, Groudon up against Bronzong Kyogre. Yeah, I don't, uh, think, I don't think that's a good trade because by losing Salamence, now you're down to two Pokemon, so you can't reset the weather and get the rain up for your own Kyogre. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think Alex's in a really good position to take this. Yeah, unfortunately, James was just sort of uh, boxed into a corner there. Even if he switched out for Bronzong, that eruption would have picked up the KO there right. as well. That's a, and that's a good thinking by Alec. No, he knows that Bronzong's in the back, and really his only out there might have been switching the Bronzong in. Uh, so even, and you saw how much eruption did to the Kyogre in the first.